Hi guys, it's Sam and I thought it would be fun to do sort of a product updates video slash get ready with me, but I'm not getting ready for anything. I'm home, it's Friday and I thought I would film a video. I might have to edit out a lot of me coughing. I'm totally relaxed as well. So I'm in my PJs and as you can tell, I am sick. What are you gonna do? It is, um, it is something I've had for the past two, three weeks. It just will not go away and the cough has become almost unbearable. So if I, I'm filming in one of those rare moments where I'm not coughing, but I might be coughing throughout the video. So let's get started. I have just my base makeup on, which is the Etude House BB Cream. I'm not, I think it's the Precious Minerals one. I'm trying to finish that one up because I've had it for a very long time, but it still looks okay. Uh, and the brush that I use is a new product, so this is going to be also a haul video. A lot of stuff going on in one. Um, this is the Complexion Brush, and this is fantastic for a foundation. It's really uh, dense, which I like in my foundation brush, but it is slightly well it's more than slightly flexible but it's super soft and I love it so I've only used it the one time I could tell that it's going to be really good and I think you could even use it for contouring I think it would be really nice for that um so I really like this brush so I had gotten that and then I need some powder on my face pronto so this is the city color flawless finish mineral powder and it's in the color natural and i love this i've been using this almost every day and uh, this is just so soft and it gives really good coverage as well so i wanted to uh, well i don't want to waste any i'm going to use this big fluffy brush right here and this is just perfect for all over the face and it's goes really quickly too but I'm gonna put it first on my sorry I'm talking a mile a minute here I'm gonna put it first on my eyelids just to soak up any oils I get usually get them I go on my forehead and I want to just do the one side so you could kind of see so it gave me a lot of coverage this doesn't I feel like this is mostly matte this powder but it doesn't it's kind of like the NYX powder you know the flat the matte but not flat I just love this and how it feels and it's really cheap it's three bucks from five below and excellent 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 quality and just love the way that it looks and two two just kidding I'm trying not trying to honk my own horn beat whatever I'm sick please forgive me uh, next is bronzer but I want to you know what let me do this one um, I want to do kind of a dark contour or a more defined contouring I guess so I'm gonna use the another another city colors product this is the sunlight trio which I a lot of this stuff you did see in a haul so um, here's a darker one it has a slight shimmer I'm gonna take another up and up brush and up and up brushes are from Target put that in there and contour and just go around the BB cream that I was using is really really light so that's why I want to go a little heavier with my contouring just to bring back some life into this face because when you're sick you look even paler than usual. Okay, so um, what I want to do is take that, take this big fluffy brush, the Eco Tools brush, and lightly put it into that. And go, on. and you would think I would be using this Elf brush, and you know what? Let me use it. I do like this. It's it's humongous. I would never use this for my face. Well, I won't say never, but. Come on, this is a little bit ridiculous, but it does fit nicely onto your neck, and you could definitely drag it down, which I've been doing so it matches my neck, and just go all over, and I'm even going to go, you know, I don't like that brush for under the eye, I just want a little bit all over, not too much, and the blush on here 
is amazing. This is great for if you're going on vacation because you could use this, these two, well, you could use all these for your face where you're supposed to, uh, bronzer slash contour, blush, and highlight, but you could also use this for your eyes. This, I've done a couple of looks with this eye look and it is really, really pretty, so uh love this as well um i just wish that my five below had the matte blushes because they're really nice and that's the one i think i'm gonna use this one no you know what i used the other one that i love uh this is the pink glow the mosaic blushes and this is beautiful as well i've been reaching for this almost every day because it's just so simple the color is really pretty but i think i'm going for but it's a little bit hard to use because it is so pigmented I think I'm going to go for this one. I'm going to just swirl my brush all the way around. I'm still using this brush. And you have to tap it off because look how much. Whew, that's way too much. And what I'm going to even do is I'll put some on here. And then I'll use the rest for that. You don't even have to go back in. Now, I don't need a highlight. Well... I shouldn't say don't need, but my face is pretty matte, so I'm going to go in with this. If I could get it open again. And use that so you guys could see that in action as well. So not too much, because you could definitely go overboard with this highlight. Sorry guys, had to edit because my nose was running. And I went on my nose. My chin. Okay, so we're. Think, I think we're done with the face, and I'll move on to lips. This is. Let's see. I got two uh, Eve Saint Laurent lipsticks from Influencer, and anyone could join that. I find it's kind of been since it's become a, such a bigger uh, community of. Uh, bloggers and people who make videos that it's been hard to get uh, stuff uh, when I mean when uh, campaigns what they call campaigns that you receive free things but I won the I won the Yves Saint Laurent one and these are just so amazing look how beautiful they are just so just so luxurious and these are fantastic if I had the money which I don't to get these lipsticks I would so it was really nice to win them but I would have if you have some money in your account or you're saving up for the Sephora VIB these the Rouge Per Rouge Per Couture lipsticks by Yves Saint Laurent are fantastic let me just show you the two colors so this is great for every day which I think I'm going to use that one. And then this is really fun. This is number 19. And this is not, oh, sorry, this is 9. But 19 is just beautiful as well. So I was just, I couldn't believe I got those because they're really expensive. And like I said, if I had the money, I would definitely get these. These are fantastic. They go on. They feel really nice for matte lipsticks. I find that I find that sometimes mags can be really drying, but these are fantastic, and they last for a pretty decent amount of time. So great for every day, and I put it on, and I don't have to worry about it. Okay, next. Oh, this is uh, the L'Oreal Elnet Hairspray. And this does hold, but I feel like, I don't know, the scent smells kind of like um, my grandmother, I want to say. And I know that a lot of people love this, but I just don't like the smell. I'm looking for something that doesn't leave my hair crinkly. And I was at the dollar store. I don't know if this is going to work. It's probably going to leave my hair really crinkly. I want something crinkly dark hair in my mouth I apologize uh, but I don't want something that's like uh, you know leaves flakes and I want something that leaves my hair soft so it's been if you have any recommendations for hairspray let me know this is the salon selectives humidity resistance volumizing all day extra hold hairspray so this from the dollar store is only a dollar and I thought I would try it out 
Next is uh, the elf stuff, I guess. So let me talk about the brushes. Well, I already started talking about this big brush. Would I get this again? Definitely not. I don't even know if I would recommend it. It's just so big. It's a little bit obnoxious. And I feel like it does fit right here. But I could. all the other brushes that I've used, they're pretty much do the same thing. So I probably wouldn't get that again. Uh, this brush is pretty good. I really like this. I heard that Sonia Kashuk has one. Uh, but this one is very good. If you want specific contouring right there, um, this fits perfectly. And again, this goes there very nicely. So I like this brush. Um, this is, I'm not sure exactly what they're called. I don't know. Uh, this is the, this one I feel like is, I don't know. I'm not even going to try to guess. I, I'm so sorry. Uh, this brush is supposed to be, I think, for foundation. But it's just too... The one I just showed you, the Sonia Kashuk one. No, the Up and Up one. So I feel like this is much more dense while this is... It's just moves around too much. So this is perfect for blush or for powder. So I do like this and I would get that again. And uh, then here is... This is the blending brush. Uh, this is okay. This is like a weird, it's like a powder slash contouring brush, blush, brush, but this does good for your hollows of your cheek and for putting on top highlight, but, um, I feel like I have a bunch of brushes that could, uh, do the same thing, so I wouldn't get that again. Um, the one thing that I haven't really played around with too much is this e.l.f. contour palette. I've used it a few times, as you could tell, uh, but I haven't really tested it out to tell you guys enough about it. I definitely don't, I'm not in love with this as much as I was um, the blush palettes that come like this. So if I end up using it more, I'll make sure to update you guys. If I remember, another e.l.f. product is, this is the e.l.f. smudge pot, which are only a dollar. Next time e.l.f. has a sale that I feel like, taking part in I will definitely get more of these I probably would get a lot of them these are so good and this lasted on my hand forever but this color is amazing oh I love that I picked this color to try out this is why not why not look at that and I use it by itself and it kind of you know what I might not buy all of them it kind of reminds me of the color tattoos um, and I have so many of those, but this one is just so gorgeous. Look at that color. I want to take it off before it stays there. Uh, anything else? Oh, yeah, I got, you know what? I had another e.l.f. This is the last e.l.f. thing. Uh, this is the e.l.f. Instant Lift Brow Pencil. I really like this. The pencil is pretty tiny the tip well for now and then the spoolie I love I love spoolies and this one the elf one is very good uh then this is the NYX soft lip matte lip cream in Copenhagen which is super duper dark look at this I absolutely love it and I had said if I like this one I'm gonna get the I think it's Transylvania which is much darker you can imagine this is pretty dark um but that one is much darker but this is gorgeous look at it perfect for fall and some new things I wanted to share with you um, I know there were some other things I had hauled um, but I haven't used them enough to really talk to you about it oh I had bought this is the elf eyelash curler the newer one that they have for some reason my when I uh, I brought it to work one day in my makeup bag and it got crushed and it broke so uh, good thing it was only a dollar because I got another one, and I love this. It's for a dollar, it works really well, and I'm so happy it does uh, because the original one never worked for me, and I was like, why not? It's not fair. Uh, next, I haven't used this yet. This is the Sonia Kashuk Eye Couture uh, Palette. This is the Ion Neutral Matte 02. I was trying to look for one as well, but I didn't see it. And this one... Um, I'm excited to use it. As you can tell, it's still wrapped up. And so I plan on opening up that very soon. And I got another 
Oh, I still haven't used this. I'm trying to finish up my very last three mascaras all at the same time um, because I don't like two of them. So I thought I would just use all three. Oh, uh, this is the CoverGirl Super Sizer, which I want to open up so bad, but I'm really trying to be good and use up all the other ones that I have. And then here is the NYX Butter Lip Gloss in Licorice. You guys know I couldn't resist a dark lipstick. I don't know why, but I'm just so drawn to these. I think, um, yeah, I just, I'm excited to try this. So, that is... I think everything that I want to include, so a little bit of uh, everything, and where is Ava? Oh, she's right here. Come here, Ava. Let me go get her. Okay, so I had to pick her up. Um, she doesn't like this at all, and I kind of teased you guys with the thumbnail of her um, in my last video where I was talking about my channel updates, but she's doing really well. I miss her, you know, because I've, I'm working now, and I don't get to see her as much. But she's being well taken care of uh, by my family. And we both wanted to say we hope you guys are all doing well. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye. And I totally forgot one more thing. So for those of you who stuck around, thank you. Uh, this was the e.l.f. blending sponge or, you know, beauty blender type product. Terrible. It doesn't expand when you wet it. And it's just really, really hard. So... Definitely do not purchase this if you're looking for a beauty blender dupe.